Uh, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Breaking news off the top right now. Multiple fires burning in parts of Hidalgo County. We are also getting the latest on a fire in Brownsville. But right now we turn to Channel 5's Tracing Bragg. He's tracking those fires for us tonight. He joins us live from rural Hidalgo County. That's right, Oscar. We are north of Elsa right now. You can see behind me there are several different fire departments here. They were working on a fire here. And I say several different fire departments because multiple agencies have been working together to fight multiple fires, as you mentioned. In fact, before we got to this fire, we were actually in uh, Lynn San Manuel, and we actually stopped just north of Monte Alto and saw two separate fires. And I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but it's pretty windy out here tonight. And Precinct 4 Director of Operations Steve Cruz tells us that wind is a big part of the challenge that firefighters are facing tonight. Uh, Mr. Cruz tells us that there have been multiple fires around the county. There's this one, the one in Lynn San Manuel that I mentioned, one north of Monte Alto, and in fact, two other house fires in Monte Alto that we're hearing are not related. We are working to find out more information. It looks like firefighters have this scene under control, but we will continue to bring you the most up-to-date information that we can. Reporting live north of Elsa, I'm Trace and Bragg, Channel 5 News at 10. And again, the uh, uh, weather playing uh, a key role in what's happening today with the fires. But right, we'll get to that here in just a moment. But right now, we're also tracking a grass fire near the Brownsville Airport. We're told the airport not in danger, but nearby streets are closed. The fire is located on North Iowa and Billy Mitchell in Brownsville. Brownsville Fire Chief Jarrett Sheldon says it's a grass fire right now, but he adds that some warehouses are nearby. He also added that the fire is uh, at least firefighters are working to get that fire under control. Right now, no structures have burned. Sheldon says a down power lines likely causing this fire. No injuries are reported. 